Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old mine in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit, quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet, so they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Whoa. 
careful over this bridge here. Ah, watch it. I can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No four. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Yeah. You sure about this, Micah? Mr. Morgan. I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead! Oh? Okay, let's head down there. Let's hitch up here. Whoa! Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. Excuse me! Hello! Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks, Arthur, dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> Look, there's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, need some there's a body of food in the wagon. Or something. Uh, just 
Keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Now, Fran, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am kind of desperate. Hey, I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here. is closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colmo Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. One Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. The place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Shut 
Bastard. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here, and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? We're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Still in there? He's dealt with. Good. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. You need to hitch him. He's already skittish. Gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. <laughs> you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they. <laughs> miss, you are safe now. Can't stay here. You come with us. Of course. Yes. It's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, 
Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. No, it wouldn't be the first time. Take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That well, ain't like him, bro. Tracks go left, down here. Davey got shot, Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Whoa. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Careful, it's getting narrow here. Come on, boy. Horses are getting tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Now let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. See if he can hear us. Come on, up there. He's coming. 
from up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I grabbed that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? You getting that gun then? Watch out here. You sure about this? It's coming from this way. Okay. Can you that we're high up here? You're telling me. Help me. Drops down here. Watch yourself. It's slippery. Be careful. Stay low under here. Okay, from here. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Come on. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. doing? I'm miserable. It's been a tough few days. I know. Here, take a drink of that. Thanks. Not designed for this snow. Let's keep moving then. Come on. John, can you hear me? John, you there? That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. You see that on the ridge? Parf. You head for the horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. Thank you. 
Too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. Uh, knew a fella. Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. Should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So... Freezing, bleeding, starving. Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. some help. We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Oh, here we go. There we go. Uh, Ay, uh, careful, idiotas. Uh, it's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're going to get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I uh, suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That's similar. We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait to thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. What do you think, Arthur? <sighs> well, I wasn't on that boat, so hard to say. But I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. Thank you, son. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. No, not. We had a bit of bad luck. 
But then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a day. Help with you, boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they find us. Rob this score, they're planning. What's that? Tracks, horses, quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Oh. Hold up here. Gentlemen, this is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. There they are. Uh, that's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. Come on, let's get down there. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You 
You two, get up there and keep us covered. You got it, Dutch. Good. Come on, let's go. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, if... You completely lost faith in me. Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including Comb, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. Watch out. This bit's steep. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. If you want to take the lead, go. So we got everything we need. Sons of bitches! Kill 
recognize any of them ducks? Of course not. Cole doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, finish in your can. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. <laughs> Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you, boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Matt, 
Charles and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Do you really? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. Come on, just name your price. I don't want to die, mister. Have a heart, mister! Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there. Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. me please no oh, don't worry they're real nice huh. you found a little shit did you yeah <laughs> i got him very good welcome to your new home hope you're real happy here <sighs> you want me to make him talk oh no now all we'll get is lies uncle mr williamson tie this maggot up someplace safe we get him hungry first I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. 
I'm just sorry we missed out on coal. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Starved to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? All right. Let's head out. Whoa! Yeah! How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in this storm, going out for John, that thing with the O'Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. some patches of grass here. This is good. Let's look down this way. Ha! Hmm. The wind's died down, too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now, shh. Stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. <sighs> There's a deer been here. And recently. How can you tell? How can you not? <laughs> Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. You see the tracks? Uh, I think so. Maybe not. Focus. there. You 
see him? Are you ready with that bow? Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Now, Arthur. Nice. See if you can get another one. Okay, try again. Done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? back when you are. Come on, man. Let's head back. Hold. Uh. Careful. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck's finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find Careful. somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Oh, watch it. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. 
We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. How much you and me? How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this? Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes, Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Hey. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch sake. Save most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Ha. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Drop some food back, boys! Easy. <sighs> Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. I uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master.
Just drop it all. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See you. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one if you dumped on the floor there. Too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <coughs> it's been a bad few weeks, but Dutch. Being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah, and you'll pay me. But for the moment, you just rest. Arthur, I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. Everyone ready? All right, let's head out. Listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the Odrisky, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. So there's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after, Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. <laughs> you worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now, come on. Let's ride. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. 
just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down, see how he's getting on? Okay. How you getting on? Yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Oh. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. That includes you, Arthur? Why are you doing this? Arthur, just pull up your bandana.
the wire, but we won't mention that. What is wrong with the ball? You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little! Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith. You two boys, go blow that door open. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might Seems want to good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay. Let's see if we can get this open. Come on. Come on. Get 
getting there. Fun? I don't think so. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. I think I got them. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, uh, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three of you. So behave. Come on, move. Yeah. For Lord's sake, put that book away and go help. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. Get us out of the street. 
Let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Trouble, we wouldn't have seen him. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yeah. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. God. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yep. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. Do you know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws. Working girls, our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkerton's? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. 
Me? You? Dutch? We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Place is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together, kept us alive. We got off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Oh, boy. That's enough of that for Hey, you fellas. Sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a cell. Just bring him here. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. Heck. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? 
Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Gentlemen, follow me. Come on, girl. Good girl. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch. Pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Where is this spot, Jose? Huh? Timbuktu? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart, apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say... Bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of... Guards. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like... Just about every... He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. This is the spot, down to the left there. Whoa! Yep, easy. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. Looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. 
You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Get us a bit deeper. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Come on, Arthur. Don't be nervous. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are... Good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Arthur's got a bite. Nice, you hooked him. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Damn it, I lost him. There he is. Hell there. Remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not oh, this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Fish on the line, Arthur. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing, when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. It looks like you got a bite, Arthur. <laughs> Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. 
Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out and all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back to Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way, and she, me, in hers, <laughs> somehow, even from the grave. She managed to have the last laugh. Just gotta reel him in now, Arthur. Good job, Arthur. Oh, Arthur's pleased with that one. Something's nibbling. Ha! Got ya! Got a nibble there, Arthur. There you go. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's a keeper. You got a bite. Not bad, Arthur. Make sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Jose. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait until the taters is done. 
I couldn't wait till the tears was done. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Tears got burnt and so did I. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners to leak up from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we? Dance this round around around, shall we go dance this round around around? Hey, there is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round 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 round. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around, to them we dance this round around around, and he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground of 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 ground Oh, bravo! Bravo! Well, you know, we should not let the folks back in camp think we had too much fun. Indeed not. <laughs> All right. I think I, well, I mean, we are going to be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Well, I'm going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. I talk to myself, what a pair of feckless bastards. <laughs> was up near North Elizabeth. I was fixated on this pocket watch Dutch had. Big fancy thing it was. It was a greedy bugger. I'm hungry too, I hadn't eaten in three days. So I thought to myself, I'll rob this pair of bastards. So I followed them out of the bar. It was a dark night. I followed them down this alleyway. As I pulled out me gun to threaten them with imminent death, they just stood there laughing at me. I felt like a six year old. Go ahead, hey, gentlemen. Mr. Pearson! Mr. Pearson, look what I've got. Fish! Mr. Matthews! Mr. Matthews? You should have been a sailor. No, thank you. I like to eat fish, not swim with them. You know, one time, just off the horn, a giant whale stalked us for months. The same thing happened to me just south of Milwaukee, only I don't like to talk about it. I have nasty memories, though. You're not a kind man. <laughs> I'm not fooled. Okay, Mr. Morgan.
Oh, hey, Arthur. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches. Think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Roy, follow me. Yeah! How far is this place? All right. Will you just ride with me now? Thank you. So. What were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Watch it. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. As from the moment I met him, Hey, you tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that. Suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid, we got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater too, didn't you? Easy. <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. 
And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. All right, that left away. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Whoa. I want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. There's one on the outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed the big... Oh, they headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up. What? Where? Right here. It's up after Here come the rest of them. Watch it! They're coming out! Oh! Oh! Get a hold of that son of a bitch! The money stash now, eh? Huh? All right. Guess we should give the place a look and see what we can find. Back to camp. Uh, Should have kept one alive.
Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I are Archibald. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Keep your eyes open. Mm. 
Oh, this must have happened recently. Damn flies! Mm. I swear they got it in for me. You could try. Hey, come have a look at this. While. Hey, you should see this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Taking the reins. I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. Easy. We ain't in that much of a hurry. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. They're right again here. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories that he'll tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. The drink a sick. Hey, hey, not so fast! He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braith... Moonshine to murderers. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we... Understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Bill, this way. Let's stop these filthy degenerate Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. Hold on. Wait for them to move. Get out of here! Hey! We got an intruder! We'll take the ride. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. Remember what he said. We... Hold on! Wait for them to move.
won't catch the rider. Grab the other fella. Think you take this one, Bill. With pleasure. Let's gather them up. Explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. think you're real funny, Bill. Tell me about that. That is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. anymore. Do you? No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Quick, let's go before any more show up.
Well done. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah. Seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others. If you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like Gene. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes! Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set. Go! Quite so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're, I was going to say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. You owe 
Okay, girl. Good work. Hey, easy, girl. I apologize in advance for this stew. It needs better meat. Can't have that pot go completely empty. Thank you, Arthur. Okay there, Jack. Hello, Mr. Pearson. You playing lawman? I do that sometimes, too. You all right? What do you think of the place? I don't know. So far, it seems okay, I guess. I think that there is rich pickings for some carpetbaggers like us. <laughs> is that what we are, is it? Avenging your father's death after 30 years? There's gold, Arthur. Gold. If you say so. Hi there, Arthur. How are you? Hey, Arthur. Can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. This way, bunch of smart Alex. Hey. Yep. How do you get wind of this, old man? We've only been down here all of five minutes. Well, wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. They'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs>
try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Shit! Hey! Think I say something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Set. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I, I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go round the back. Place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Ah! Oh! Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellers. Ah! Oh, That's how you want to do it? We got more of the bastards on this side! You're done! More on the right here! Just you wait! Let's just hope we don't run out of 
A meal out of that, didn't you? This is a young man's game. I'll enjoy killing you. Uh oh, sounds like they got some trouble over there. We better go get the hand. Some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our back. It was an down. honest mistake. I leave it. Come on, get out of here. Never mind.
Jesus, I command you, coward! Goddamn breakaways! Sneaking about! Boy. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. What are you waiting for? The sheriff? Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. See you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. They're worse with strangers than ours are. So long, and good luck.
Let's go, girl. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And... You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. Mount up, all right, and follow me to Rhodes. Come on, come on! Yeah, we'll go around the property and take the road to town. Easy, boy. Calm down. 
I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There! There they are! Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go. Daughters, we cook now, now, take us down water, Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Baker Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? Just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. It's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Good Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on, boys. Come on. Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before they think about it. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that? Yep.
Okay. Whoa, whoa, good girl. Stay away from me. But I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. It always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. Voting. Women voting. <laughs> They'll never allow that. Why not? Because if we can vote, then folk, and by folk I mean men, will have to hear about how awful we got it. We have it awful? Sure. How so? All they'll let us do is teach children, clean houses, and line our backs for money. Much in the way of living. Even fancy women look sour. They'll beat us, enslave us, and punish us if we try to stand up to them. Guess I never saw it quite that way. I think I'd like to vote. Who you gonna vote for? Arthur! You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies? All right, then. Let's go rob some fools. Come on, it's this way. On me. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamorne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. These boys... Got a manner about him, but I haven't necessarily noticed it. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right? Decent folks. Some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I don't know. I guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shining and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay then. Plus. It beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does.
Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there. A whack. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back. They look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth the fault. Oh, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Yeah. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. You see anything? Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. Down by the road. We do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? Hey, we came all this way, so... Can you look again and see if you spot anything? I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, and then I'll start shooting. <gasps> well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance.
any men in the area would have heard that, they might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. So far, I'll tell you when that changes. This one looks good. Search it. I think we should search the crate, Arthur. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yep. Go, go! Let's haul! Easy! with the wind. Chasers. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. We did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth brag. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. It's no better to judge me. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... Nothing no, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're going to start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. The 
These are found. I'm still confused by this law, man. Look. So, what do you think? What do you mean? About those two families. The rich ones in the big houses. I don't know. Go have a look around. See what you can find out. Calmly, I mean. Sure. Dutch and I, we both think there's money to be made. I hope so. <laughs> Sit down, Arthur. I wonder if I'll ever not smell a campfire again. Morning. I think it's in our skin now. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yep. Help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? I'd really appreciate the help. I I'm worried this one here will bolt on me, too, if I leave him. Sure, no problem. Thanks. It it it's the white one over there. Here. 
Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Chair's always on the right. Well, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Can't believe it. What's your damn problem? All right, here we are, just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. About as good as a dog that hit. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. I don't know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Look at this, a jaw heart. What is this list of yours? Uh, got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. 
It's a funny world, you know. Find you you huh? can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. I can't prove it, but the bank's stealing <laughs> my money. I swear, every time I walk out... Or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right wait now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Can I help you, sir? Quit trying to help people. I, I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? No trouble now, please. Pay to hit her, you goddamn animal. Come here! I paid for nothing. Oh. now, huh? What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank. Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Oh, Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, now. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Oh, God, man. Just born. Get back here, right now! <laughs> Mr. Please, I'm sorry! Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Th then why are you chasing me? What the hell are you doing? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Idiot.
I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. hey! There he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy. Are you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our answer. <laughs> Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who.
visitor? I don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is gonna be fun, Arthur. He won't throw me? No, he's an angel, if I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Just get this adjusted, boy. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Easy, big feller. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine Stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spark, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. It does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Tables are just up ahead. <laughs> All right, go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse.
All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well, with some good care, you should be able to make something of it. Hello there, mister. Now here's someone to put Here you All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So. What's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's Cole. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place, Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. I should really be heading back over to Great Plains to see about Sean. It's bounty hunters who've got him? So Trelawney says. Javier and Charles have gone with him to scope it out. Pretty dangerous going anywhere near Blackwater. Right, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Of course. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. I'll try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. 
Well, then you get a set up. Oh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. What's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. How you getting on with that bait? Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. What's the hold up here? Okay, let's go. Let's go, girl. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? No, we did briefly. 
You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way? This way. The tracks go into those trees. Where are you going? It's this way. Stay on his tracks, Arthur. Hey, I don't think he went that way. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half-eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on. See if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. There she is here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's got to be close. Let's keep going. Damn it. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work. Which do you think? Arthur? Come on, before we lose them all together. Let's just make a call. Let's split up. Okay. I'll head this way. You head down that track.
Shoot that thing, please! Look out! You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. <clears throat> nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the big... I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going, then. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it was a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon, look into something. See you later. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. What am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I won't lie to you. What's wrong? Ah, Miss Morgan. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? Valentine, nosing about, I think I found something interesting. What's that, Tilly? Well, I'm not exactly sure. Something about the doctor's office. There's something funny going on there. Saw a bunch of nasty boys going in and none of them coming out. Hmm. Thank you. Maybe I'll go take a look. Anything else? No, just that. Well, 
Keep looking. Will do. Knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you me, speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Keeping that silver. Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Go, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Just sign. It's good, it's valuable, 
is is Varsava, yes. I have your things. Okay? I have anything in here or out it's there. Very valuable. Good? Yes. Not good yet. Better be something somewhere. about cover things. What you got behind there? So, uh, surprise, I mean, near to me. Move aside. What do we have here? My old trunks gone, yeah. Just keep quiet.
How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, uh, well... Sorry, girl. All right, girl. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debt, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm 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 ah. This is not forgiveness of my debt. This Pay the money. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of <gasps> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! 
What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. Please, come on, you brought me in, help me. Speak. Don't cry, boy, speak about your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk? Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. Well, you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, but I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respect. He taking us to Cold? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. 
Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an O'Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? Instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey. Hey. If, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah. I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How you holding up, John? Careful, Morgan. Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason and hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. You see, O'Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what you all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. And now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. Okay, now now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. Damn it, Arthur. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? I'm sorry it wouldn't kill you. Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now, come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Hey, there, there, you see? Okay, get down. Cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you, strangers? Yup. And Cormo Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. 
Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. And over there, someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. Let's get closer. God, O'Driscoll. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I, swear. I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. You ain't lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como Driscoll's gonna lose his mind about this. 
So? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing just yet. Yeah, right you are. At least you got something tucked away. Come on, the girl. Get up.
excuse me. Excuse me, but I need some money. I fought in the war. I fought for you. Fine morning, partner. Come on. Give a fella a nickel. Give me a dime. Give me something. Enjoy the morning, mister. You need to give me some space here. Hey, buddy. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Guess I can't complain, none. Well, that's good to hear. <sighs> okay, just quickly. <clears throat> that felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Well, we used to hold each other in the war. They got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. <sighs> Howdy. Okay, girl. How do you do? It's okay, girl. Howdy, sir. Howdy, partner. Dutch, Miss O'Shea. Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. <laughs> you uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working. Okay, kid, let's go. Easy. I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was... You worry too much, kid. 
Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah New, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Man, he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. It happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mac. Hey, it was down. drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down, then head back, okay? Okay. Here we are. Yeah, yeah. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple of beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mikey... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, they're dullards. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. I'm bored. Hey, buddy, you don't shut up. I'm gonna rip your head clean off your shoulders. Is that clear? Get out of here! Clear? Clear? Very clear. I'm on my way. <laughs> oh. Camp. Found my friend. You know where we went? Sorry, I don't know. You seen that fella I was with? Sorry, I don't know. Benny, where are you? Benny? Hey, Lenny! What are you doing, kid? Hello, Arthur. You know what? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> 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 Yeah, shut your mouth, mister. Lenny. 
Hey, stop slumping off on me! I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. Friend me off. Cheers. Cheers. Now you again. Again. Not again. Hey, move it already. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself. Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down then.
I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Uh, life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> ah. ah, well. Hmm, better than nothing. He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. <laughs> it is a game, after all, mister. <laughs> Gentlemen. This is getting too rich for me. Sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where is... <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Just a simple mistake. You can still be safe. Ah. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place. It wants to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. Help! Help me up! Get
when he'd show up. Better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just use your. Dear Arthur, I've written a 